as you know, uh, you get gameplay a little bit later than the actual time. So by the time this video is released, the patch 1.2 has been released for a while. I didn't actually check the patch notes themselves, but I did check the patch notes um, of the dev diary. So one thing that I did want to point out, the player flags now have these side thingies to make them a little bit more uh, of a standout feature between all the other things that you might see on the map, which I think is kind of neat. Uh, this current situation thing, for some reason, now has a red number, which I assume means these are all the things I haven't looked at. So um, we can lawfully imprison this lady, which we don't care to, so we're going to put that away. Uh, we can adjust our son and vassal, uh, his, I don't know, that doesn't, doesn't really mean anything. Uh, I wish I could force them to stay out of factions, we don't want to adjust this. Uh, inherit titles, we don't care. Air and line to inherit titles, we don't care. Can designate a guardian for our son and player heir. Let's see, what is he even? He's pretty good at everything. Um, though he is 11. So what should we try and push him towards? Do we have anyone very prolific at anything? Well, we have this, this brilliant strategist here, which is pretty decent. Uh, I think we're gonna go with this man, Kambin. Do check out our kid, and we can create a whole bunch of titles, which seem to be sorted now. So kingdom titles are top, and also have a different color than the duchy titles, which I like. All of this has a bit of a different border now. We can declare wars, which we don't care about. Uh, we can call in a house member, don't care about. We lose realm stuff, okay. So now this number is zero, but it's still red. A little bit confusing. Now, one thing that they did add now, and I feel like that has been a long time coming, though, I mean, this is not like a DLC ad or something, but just how life works. We can now attach armies again, finally. Uh, obviously, we can't attach our army to itself, so it doesn't really matter all that much. We have found this man as a commander. 1117 yeah he will be put to our court and we will make him a knight of ours where is he him he will be forced Delia will also be forced all right there we go wait was that champion effectiveness okay I'm sure there were many, many more changes that are quite important. Let's see, can we make you our court physician without paying out of our mind? Yes, there we go. So we have that again. I don't remember how many troops we needed for this war here, but I feel like that should be fine. So let's combine our troops. Put in a com- Oh, look at that! You can switch between the armies that you got here. That's that's neat. Uh, we'll use Kambin, who is also our lively livestock. Additional payment and recent trade found myself in the position of large her large herd of cattle. So we can get large herd of cattle, or we can try and get it bred a little bit, or we sell it. Let's try and breed it. And we were apparently successful. So the only reason I'm using this guy right now as a commander is because he has the... Um, logistician trait. Which is fantastic for us. So maybe this army will now attach to us, which would be pretty good. Also, um, I think the whole battle overview and stuff has been reworked. So, a bunch of interfaces there should be different now. Um, this looks pretty much the same. As far as I can tell. Our enemies are fighting each other there. We can live with it.
child is no longer sickly. One enemy army is moving past us. But we shan't care. We are paying a lot of money. For our armies. And we don't... Okay, our church holdings are low. Did they ever pay us anything as a tribe? I honestly don't know. So these two are at war with each other. Honestly, they are just hostile. They're not enemy armies. Ah! Oh, did he hear? Did it? Did it? That's new. So we have one. And we get a little overview of what's going to happen, which is very neat. So let us enforce our demands. And so be it. We are in a war still, however, so let's move our troops over here, take care of that war. And we have a bunch of holdings to... Well, now nah, we have enough space to hold them ourselves, so we'll keep it. Uh, we can ransom this, who we will. We can usurp the High Chieftain of Al Al Alodia, which 250 gold is quite a bit. But I think we shall. Uh, now we check our own holdings and we have one too many. So let's get it out on one of our kids. Let's see, our heir himself doesn't hold anything, so we give him all this. Um, as well as that. So there we go. I think we don't can't we, we are not allowed to give him this because this is currently tar target of a war, so we will be able to give it afterward. Right, what can we do with this army? Split in half. That's not exactly what I wanted. Split off a new army. I wish there was a way to just select whatever costs me money so much. Well, but this should be a quick siege and a short war. So I'm not too worried. I think he should be the vassal of Nubia. Yeah. So our son would be the lord of our heir. We'll do that later, once we have won this little war here. I think we just arrived in time. Ba -da -ba -da. I like that. They could have thrown out the other sound, really. Yep, yeah, I have this title, be happy. Now we will grant this vassal to make Nubia strong again. And there is Gur. Which is already part of ours. Let's see. We can negotiate an alliance with our dear son, of course. Can declare war on this king here of Damot. We could invade the kingdom. Which would be pretty good. That's a, that's a large bit of stuff there. But if we have the invade kingdom... Castle's belly open right now. We should probably find something better to use it on. Like Egypt. Sultanate of Egypt. That would be pretty neat. It would, however, put us also directly into the scope of the Byzantine Empire and the Abbasid. Which I'm not entirely sure I'm ready for. So let's check home first gur where is your there is your so you have a lot of smaller kingdoms here a khan let's check out ghana leave gurma and take ghana i think we want to take um our backyard here first i think really we want to take africa south south africa first before we really set our sights elsewhere mali Tarkur. 
Kabu. Nah. None of these are super great, I must say. I think... Who's the biggest? Uh, Ghana is nothing. Like, they have no troops whatsoever. 4,400. 1,700. So the biggest threat, clearly, is Takrur or Takrur or whatever. However, they are also the hardest to take because we can't really take much at all at once. I think Ghana we don't really care about. Mm. Would be a nice bit of land though. All of this. I think all of this here. Mm -hmm. What to do, what to do. Kingdom of Ghana. Kingdom of Mali we hold anyway. I think we're gonna go take that. They can field 8,308 troops. We can field 14,000. We don't have all that much money to keep them up and going. Hmm. How much does Egypt have? Like, they have 217 soldiers right now. It's nothing. It's literally nothing. They have 4,000. They have 10,000, so the Byzantines are a bit of an issue and we'll have to fight them eventually. So the biggest threat out here... is literally over there. Should we take Egypt? I feel like taking Egypt right now would be pretty cool. Let's take Egypt before they decide to get big. But with Egypt, we also open us up for Crusaders. And they together might be a bit of an issue at our current state. Mm. I also don't want to get too much to create a Empire title here. So I think we're going to go with Takrur. Yeah, let's go with that. It's the hardest one to battle out against. So it will be the most worthwhile as well. So from which side shall we attack? I think from down here. Or rather no. From right here. Alright, as, as you can also see something else happened right now. The game is now trying to raise armies in a way where they don't destroy pretty much the uh, supply limit of where they're being raised so it immediately split, splits them up like that which is interesting so I don't think we need all that many troops these are hostile hostile and these are enemy so these we don't really need to fight where are my onagas how do i know these are just levies there are my onaga armies so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this one here and mm, that one there and this one will uh, uh, this one will go here and this one will go there so we all kind of keep them together a little bit but also don't eat our supplies they seem to be traveling north either to link up with allies what's this now it becomes deceitful or we make him honest. Is he my heir? No, I don't care. He can be deceitful. Doesn't matter to me. Alright, so right now is an enemy army attacking mine. And most of my knights and whatnot are in this army. So we will want to select this army. Split off some pike. 
and some horse and a few knights here and send them in there as well to increase the quality of that army yeah okay no they're coming we'll send everyone over there this doesn't seem to be working out too well splitting armies I'm not good with that Okay, let's move toward them because they are locked into their movement and we will likely catch them still. So that was an error on their part in judgment. And they send in their reinforcements which we will happily accept to attack us. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. This is new here. This has been changed. So what do we see? Okay, they reworked the where they show you how your troops are faring. So what is this? Current role. We have an advantage of seven in our favor, so this goes toward us. And our role is two. They have a cautious leader, so their maximum role is eight. Ours is ten. So we are countering their light footmen. And Deals 14% damage because we are countered by the pike. They deal 40% damage. They're pikering our, uh, countering, pikering our horses. Okay, they have five champions. We have 11. The attacker is a cautious leader. Minimum battle roll plus four, which is pretty decent. We are an un unyielding defender, so our friendly casualties will be low. We have 143 routing. Okay, this this blinks. There we go, another combat roll in our favor. So that's the switch every single time a new roll is done. Oh yeah, okay, so it could go back over. But we have achieved victory. And a decent victory at that. So let's move out over there. We have taken over this. So let us go take that. Our Onagre army and a few knights. We're not going to care. Wait, no, I already taken that, haven't I? So let's go. Let's go there straight for that. Yeah, I like that. It's it's still not really like um you understand much, but well, it shows more. That 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 much is sure. So we will lose vassals if the realm dies. No, if someone dies, we will lose vassals. But that's okay. I don't. It's not that much. Titles can be created. All the kingdoms, all the stuff. Kingdom of Gurma, which is over here. Okay, so there is some sort of rebellion running around. And the enemy is probably going to try and retake this sieged area, or they're gonna go all the way north to fight my troops. I think they're going to go all the way north. Yep, I'm gonna have to get our army moving. To help reinforce our troops there. We will lose a bunch. Oh my god, that's that's a whole lot. But it's really the only way for us to win this battle. So the larger part of our army we're gonna send to try and Put him basically out of the running. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful here. There's 2,000 men that suddenly appeared, so they will outnumber us now. We might catch out a little bit of their troops. So his ally has uh, cropped up. Uh, but we just captured their king. 
so that ends this war. Very good. There we go. So be it. Uh, we cannot stand down our troops because we are, of course, in another war that was waged before we even came. So we disband our troops there. We will keep just everything, kind of. We could usurp a whole bunch of titles if they weren't at war. But I think that was pretty worthwhile. Broken up our biggest competitor that is left next to Gur or Gur. But they will be next at some point. Let's check out our... Decisions. How do we become feudal? Still don't have all tribal era. Oh! Does that... It looks a little bit different, but I wouldn't be sure. No, I just clicked the wrong one. I wanted this one. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still quite a bit away from being able to adopt feudal. Quite a bit away. That's African canoes. <laughs> we don't want that. It's not all that important. So we'll just keep what we just got for a bit. Just fight that army there. And Bean is still doing his thing for us. Is that in my realm? No, it's it's part of his realm. Not entirely sure why they are attacking us, but they might have been in a rebellion against their lord about this here. It will be fine. Worry not. Don't upgrade because we don't have the innovations for upgrades here. And we are definitely on the wrong tile because I assumed I would be able to fight the enemy for whatever reason. I that I made that assumption. I wouldn't be able to tell you. It doesn't make any sense. The details here. Oh, yeah, they changed that a little bit. So you can have the different phases. Regiment types. Okay. That's pretty nice. We're new perk. Soon forgiven. Monthly tyranny goes down quick. A notable guest has arrived, but we don't really care. I mean, it's an, it's an accomplished commander, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Right. Uh, I wanted to check our succession here. We will lose... the Duchy of Samir, which is fine. The only thing we... Don't want to lose, really. Is... The only thing we really don't want to lose is... There will be words. Just, just you wait. Yeah, we don't want a second empire being created. Splitting our empire apart. That would be very unfortunate for us. So maybe we didn't use our invasion castle spelly all that wisely. But we definitely took care of our strongest enemy in our own homelands. So let's take down our army and now we can check out on the title usurpation. 250 gold. Ouch. Could create this one for 250 gold and get way more out of it. But I think creating the duchy titles is still the best thing we can do. So let's create some duchy titles. How old are we? 32. Still a way to go, potentially. 
Let's create some duchy titles. Which one is this? Benin is down here. So we create that. And give it to this guy. Only recently relate created there. There you go. What else can we create? Duchy of Makuria. Which is over there. That's also a little bit easier to see now. I feel. And all this should be my kids in some manner. We'll just give it to him. Yeah. Get all of that. And ah, okay. The color also tells you what you can do or what you can't do. So we don't have the money for any of these. That's what the color means. It's not a difference between what it is, but a difference in what you can do. That is good. I like that. Okay, we have some powerful vassals wishing for a council position. Uh, meaning we probably have some not so powerful vassals here. Let's see. Do we have someone better? 10, 10. Uh, high chiefdom of Gobier. No, nah, it's fine. You guys don't need such things. Ransoms were accepted. Prisoners were taken. That looks like a good amount of uh, sensible changes. That the game went through. Let's see what claims do we have here. No one has a claim on Ghana. Aha! But that's a very expensive claim to push. For which we do not have the money. Uh, the prestige Raza. Raza. What can we do here? It's a decent little claim. And more than one person has it. I don't think we can, we already did that. Um, It's okay, he can have some opinion of me. We could take a chunk or two chunks out of them. We're pushing some lower claims here. 750 claim. That's a good claim. Don't you think? I think that's a pretty good claim. It's keeping our enemies small. Small and weak. So we're gonna go for this claim next time. Or maybe we can find something better. The cost of prestige for these is really uh, quite something. Maybe we can create something better. I like that. This is now easier to see. Upper Gurma. Any one of our bloodline around here? Very good. So you just get Upper Gurma too. You already are. A double Duchess. Where do you belong to, even? Kingdom of Gurma. Which I would create for ye. Um, there was a 3000 claim, wasn't there, for Ghana? I mean, Ghana isn't all that big, is it? But it would be all at once. Can't go here. What can we do with you? The Holy War. Ah! Look! That's a nice claim. That's a very nice claim to push. They're not even all that weak. We would kind of encroach around here just in a pincer movement. Let's see. Still only kingdoms can be created.
Yeah, let's press these claims. 1,500, that's good. That's good for all what we're getting here. That's okay. We'll do that next time. Thank you very much for watching, and see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.